Hi everybody. Welcome to uh, B and B or BS Real Strategies number four. BS number four. We're going to talk about um, deception and distraction. Something that we need to pay attention to right now. Uh, we're coming into a, a greater time of a visitation of God, of the Holy Spirit. And whenever that happens, no matter what, there's always going to be distractions. There's going to be deception that you start to buy into. Um, the confusion begins to awaken and uh, explode over your head. Um, these are just tricks. These are things that happen every time God's getting ready to move. So. I want to address it, all right? We've got to be aware of Satan's stuff, junk that he tries to pull out. We have to have strategies in place to know how to fight it. Um, in Matthew, um, in Matthew 7, 24, Jesus talks about people that built their house on the sand and people that built their house on the rock. And it didn't say uh, if the storms come, it says when the storms come. So we know that there's going to be storms and we know that there's going to be things that are going to hit us. We've already had one COVID, all this stuff that's gone on. And um, when it comes, it says that if you built your house on the sand, the destruction of the house is great. But if you build your house on the rock, then it can withstand any storm, any kind of thing that will come its way, right? So when you build your house on the sand, what does that mean? That means that you're listening to everyone. You're taking other people's sermons. You're taking other people's revelation. You're not really getting in, in God's presence for yourself. All right. And when that happens, you open yourself up for deception to slip in. If you don't have a relationship with God and if you don't know him and he's not your rock, he's not your anchor, he's not the one that you know personally this isn't somebody else's junk. This is your stuff. If you don't know him, if you don't let him instruct you and guide you and build relationship with him, then you are susceptible for destruction and for deception. All right. Deception comes in and it, it acts like truth. It acts like something that, um, oh yeah, that sounds right. Oh yeah, that, that should be you know, Matthew 24 and said, Tell us what's going to be the sign of your coming. When it, you know, when you're coming back, mouth to them is make sure that you're not deceived. All right. Make sure that you're not deceived. Um, in 2 Thessalonians 3 and 4, it says that um, nobody's, uh, we're not, we're soon to be shaken in mind, troubled either by spirit or by word or letter, as if from us, though the day... Um, of Christ has come. Let no, let no any means. All right. That's what it says. Let no one deceive you by any means. And that day will not come unless a falling away from the faith comes first. All right. It says, don't let anyone deceive you by any means. And that won't happen unless a falling away from the faith comes first. Um, you know, I go out to a lot of places and I talk with a lot of people and I talk with a lot of young people. You know, when, when I talk about Burning Man and I talk about places like Burning Man, I get questions on my Facebook or whatever. What's Burning Man? Well, if you don't know, go to my YouTube and look at some of the outreaches that we've done. You know, go look it up for yourself. I don't want to have to keep repeating it. But out there, there are seekers. There are people that are just wandering away from God because God, a church as we know it, hasn't satisfied them. And everything they've been fed or everything they've been taught, they wanted to find an anchor, but they were never instructed or taught, it seems, from, from their own mouth. They said, we didn't know we could have a personal relationship with God. We didn't know. And so I was a worship leader. I was a, a youth leader. I was a pastor. I was, I was, I did, I used to. I, I'm a preacher's kid or whatever. Um, all of those things are great, but man, if you're not getting your information from God and if you don't know him yourself, you're setting yourself up for destruction and deception. Okay, you just are. And we don't have that kind of time available to us anymore. We have to begin to realize that if you draw near to God, he said, I will draw near to you. If you read your Bible, 
He will instruct you and give you the pathway to walk. If you will spend time in his presence, he will develop you. He will develop the rock inside of you. You will have a rock and an anchor. You will have a a relationship with him. You will learn how to hear his voice. This always happens whenever there's a move of God, whenever there's getting ready to be something from heaven that's going to hit earth like a meteor. The devil just trumps it, man. He just absolutely comes out with all this stuff to try and distract you, to try and deceive you, to try and get you in fear, to try and get you away from God, to get you spinning in a circle and all this stuff. So I'm, I'm giving you some, some anchors here. First off, don't be deceived and it won't come. It says by any means, it won't come unless a falling away from the faith comes first. So you've got to have your faith in God solid. Circumstances will change. Your feelings will follow your choices. If you choose to go in the direction of God, your feelings will follow those always. You cannot base your whole life on feelings. It's a soulish experience. That's what your soul is made up of, your mind, your will, and your emotions. If you put your faith in God, it is a solid direction that will give you success. It will bring you into and over every hurdle, every obstacle. It will give you wisdom that you didn't have. It will give you correction. It will give you direction. It will give you everything you need in order to advance yourself and to move forward in the days that we're that we're in right now. You know, I'm I'm watching and I'm listening to people currently right now that are just saying, "Oh, I just don't believe in God," or "I just was in a band, but you know what? Now I've just decided that I'm not going to be I'm not going to believe in God." And I've got all these people looking at me and they say, "Well, I don't believe in God either." Well, what a bunch of nonsense. Find out for yourself if there's a God. That's the only way you're really going to know. You know, you don't let some band member tell you that they don't believe in God. You find out for yourself. We all have to do that. Every one of us. And be careful. It says in Colossians 2.8, Don't let anyone cheat you or take you captive through empty and deceptive philosophy. According to human tradition, according to the elementary principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Rich scripture, man. That is a solid fact right there. You want to hold on to that. Colossians 2.8. Be careful. Be careful. Don't allow anyone to take you captive through empty and deceptive philosophy. What is that? Mind babble. It's mind junk. It's not truth. It just sounds good. It's, it's double talk. It's twisted language. It's whatever. It's philosophy. It's short-sighted. It's not, it, it, philosophies of men don't have anything to really offer us. You know, I mean, they have partial truth. There's always going to be partial truth in it, but God is infinite knowledge. And God is way too big to fit in your head, by the way. So I guess what I'm telling you is, is, you know, I've just watched it too long. I've watched it too many different times in too many different years. And every time this has been the problem. So we want to keep you from destruction and from deception. Okay. You need to be aware that it's going to try and creep in. It's going to try and take you captive. It's going to try and give you words or give you information, something that you don't need to listen to right now. All right. So I want to encourage you, get before God, find out who he is for yourself. We've talked about this before. Don't let other people try and discourage you. Don't let church hurt get in your way. Who hasn't been hurt in church? We pastored 40 years. Pick me, you know, I've got a, I've got a number too, man. I'm in that line. We've all been hurt in church. Everybody has. So what? I, I don't look to church to give me satisfaction. I look to go and build community with people who are like-minded and we pray together and it invokes the presence of God into our midst. That, and we are the church, by the way. So, you know, develop your own relationship with God. You cannot afford to build your house on the sand. You can't afford to do that right now. You've got to get before him. You've got to find out what he's telling you specifically. Okay. All right. So bold strategies 
stay away from deception and destruction. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Go on there, watch everything, listen to everything. So that's kind of cool. Also, um, uh, go to my website, cindymcgill.org.org, cindymcgill.org. I've got um, a boot, or June, excuse me, June 13th. It's on a Saturday, June 13th. It's going to be really, really good. It's going to give you a lot of tools, a lot of information, and we're going to get you ready to do some of our crazy outreaches that we go and do. We are going to do them. And um, I've got some uh, information on that on the website. It will be up shortly. Um, so, okay. So we've got some stuff coming. We're building as we go. We're trying to navigate all the different things. and But don't be afraid, okay? And don't be And what they tell you and all this kind of nonsense. Find out for yourself. Find out for yourself, okay? Um, and so, all right. I love you guys. Uh, mama, you know that. And that's number four.